Hey, Flame here, and welcome back to another CJ the Tramp reaction. Today, reacting to Mojito, the most diabolical curse. It covers JJK season two anime. I've not seen season two at all, but I've read the arc and the manga, and so I kind of know how he pop off. Cause spoiler alerts, he kills two of my favorite people in this whole series, and I'm kind of mad about it. So yeah, let's continue. Bro, Hello. Yeah. No cheese. Oh yeah, the asylum. Oh no. Oh no. Patient. Greetings Dos. once again, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all back mm. to the Is that asylum. the dude from a special place for the Kutu from Despicable Me? And the Hello. Insane. <laughs> Light Yagami. We have a dude. Light Yagami. Today we'll be diving into the mind of a man that is terrorized mm -hmm. the entire city. He's not even a man. He's a curse. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just be honest with you. The mother is oh, insufferable. Oh, the he grippers are out. out. That's crazy. Patient 002. Mahito. Now, before we start, Mahito. I have made a change in the scoring system of the asylum. You can't now, keep the change the score. Oh. Of five levels, there are now ten. And if they commit one of these certain actions that is listed, the meter will go up to how much. Kill, multi kill, mass worth. murder, dialogue, tendency. Hold up, way, I gotta kind of, kind of gotta read this. Rehabilitation. Cause that's kind of important. Hold on, let me go back. What did I say? These certain a dialogue tendencies, unhinged behavior, act of T. Loss of sanity. Okay, okay. Okay, so there's four half ups. Okay, that's kind of fair. Pretty for ranking. It is time to because that's a lot of points for plus ones, plus ones, plus ones. Chapter one. Junpei, the fool. Poor old little No. Junpei. Now, as we can see, this little is getting his ass beat by some bullies. And why they beating his ass? You may ask. Simple. They was trying to impress a bitch. Mm -hmm. Really, nigga. Some mid at that. Look at her strong For real. Face, nigga. Mid activity. Fast champ, bitch built like the nigga chin. And then look at his sorry <laughs> ass teacher just watching the student getting his ass beat like, shit, that ain't my problem. Yeah. It's lunchtime. Nigga. Walk away. So they end up beating his ass. And burn him. <laughs> him Don't forget. They, they give him cigarette burns. On them tracks. But Pause. Later on after this, Junpei goes to the movies to skip school. And while he's at the mm -hmm. movies, what do you know? The three stooges are there yapping their ass off with their goddamn cell phone in the yeah. goddamn theater. That fucking bright ass cell phone like turn that shit the fuck off. Mm -hmm. And then you hear yapping like, yo man, I think she's gonna let us hit, bro. But out of nowhere, yeah. this dirty There's ass someone else there. And he noticed the curse behind them and says, Oh my gosh, you guys are so rude. Did you mm -hmm. read the disclaimer? No cell your devices allowed. Touch. And this man uses his special disgusting ass technique, idle transfiguration. Mm -hmm. Or what I like to call it, the cheese touch. That's funny. That's funny. I don't know. The first dude curses. Testicles on his head. The second nigga looking like Roger from American mm -hmm. Dad. And the third dude. I don't know, bro. Just gave him a big ass forehead. Bro, For right real. Out, boom, that's a multi kill. This nigga's a level two right out the gate. Mm -hmm. And you know what? For putting his dirty ass unwashed hands on another man's face? Look at that unhinged behavior. After, <laughs> <so> after <laughs> Junpei just witnessed a triple homicide, Junpei thought to himself, Oh my god. I just witnessed the whole serial killer. I gotta he get away. My bullies. And that was but nah. Cool. I'm gonna follow, follow him. him. So this dumb ass nigga decides to follow bro down a dark alley. Like, bro, are you dumb? Nigga just witnessed a triple homicide and said, let me go follow the mm -hmm. killer. But no, this is where we start to see how despicable this man Mahito he is. Manipulate he manipulates him. You, you see, see me. Yes. I see you want to learn the dark arts, yes? And obviously, since Junpei is basically having a terrible life right mm -hmm. now, he's like, yeah, teach me what you just did, bro. So yeah. Mahito takes him back to his evil lair in the sewers, and he just starts teaching him about cursed spirits and cursed energy, and is obviously just manipulating and taking advantage of a kid with a pretty shitty mental state right now. So then later on one day, he ends up hearing something down the tunnel, and mm -hmm. while he's looking down at Mahito pops in his face, and he tells him, you hear it? Don't you, boy? My experiment, sir. 
Mm. Would you care to take a look? So he takes him back here and he shows him this big ass curse and tells him, now you see Looks like the boy, fat boy master. from she was a fat SpongeBob, the one with the no pickles. So I wonder, kind of, I, I don't know. Even that was like the first image that came into my mind. But no, it gets worse. But yeah, says, you see that little turd you're holding in your hand? That it's that midget named Eduardo. I mean, mm. he was already a midget, so I wanted to see if I could make him even smaller. This thing mm. is trash. This man is disgusting. He is out here doing human experimentation. And what makes it worse, these people are technically still alive. This Somewhat. is unhinged behavior. Like this nigga is a different type of sick. He is treating humans like Play-Doh. So later on after this, Nanami ends up fighting. Yeah, Nanami, the no goat. Time, he pulls a machete on this ugly bastard. Ah, what do you call that a machete? Well, just look at this nasty nigga. Bro's just twirling around his hand like helicopter, helicopter. So then he fixes his hand and pulls out more of his cursed turds and just starts shooting them at him. They got the damn gum gum fruit. And this next mm. part is just terrible. Look at this. Nanami standing on the thing and the cursed turd starts talking and saying, Yeah. <laughs> Kill me. Just remind me, Gus, that these people are still alive. They just got turned into Play-Doh. So then Mahito For real and hits gum gum. The the I mean, he literally said gum gum. Up. This nigga got horse legs. Blood turned into a stallion. Ah, that poser. Ah. Ah, on his mm -hmm. he was like, ah, oh, hell no. So my ah. is hitting him off this ledge and gives us a nice good daily dose of zest. Cause why are his toes out? Hey, yo, Gripping. What the fuck? No, who, who animated this scene? This nigga got his stinky ass. The thing is, cat. I mean, I guess he could. <laughs> so <now laughs> just he having toes out. I mean, in the sewers, that is disgusting. But he's a curse, so he don't care. Because you stink. And just drops a bunch of debris on him. And then after yeah, the fight, look walk at this away. nasty bastard. This nigga turned into a fucking worm. Worm. Like, bro, what is that? Nigga built like the Alaskan bullworm. So after the <laughs> fight with Nanami, tragedy occurs with yours truly behind it. So Junpei and Ichidori uh -huh. are becoming pretty good friends. Yeah. Shit, Nakama. Sharing a meal with him and his mom. But after Itadori leaves, the mom one gets of Sukuna's fingers appear Mark. at his house. And Not the fine mama. And well, uh, someone Hello? behind her was looking real hungry. Because oh, milfs man. are elite. She's elite. His mama's corpse is discovered. And I would have pounded that. No, I mean, I mean, not the dad. Okay, pause, refresh, wind up before she died. Mm-hmm. This man planted one of Sukuna's fingers in his house and got his mama killed. And guess what? It wasn't just Mahito. Ghetto has some shit to do with this as well. True. Scheming ass niggas. But no. Here's the crazy part. After his mom's death, Mahito starts talking to him and saying, oh, Gas man, lit him. I'm so sorry about your mom, bro. Obviously, somebody set you up with this finger. Do you know anybody that was a jujutsu sorcerer that was probably in your house last night having mm -hmm. dinner with you? Is this nigga serious? Sick ass nigga, bro. Man, is out here trying to set Ichidori up, bro. Yeah. Diabolical ass nigga. At a half. So this is season on one. After this, Mahito and Geto end up going to Junpei's high school, and they end up casting a veil. So Junpei nobody can run now. Like a school, you know who? And just start ba, 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 his bullies because yeah. he, he paid Yuji to set him up. Oh man! Uh, like this kid okay, that part I don't remember. A good five minutes. Itadori and Junpei have a little squabble. So yeah, Yuji was murking him. And Itadori uses Itadori. Mahito comes from the yeah. and he's like, "Hey, how's it going, guys? Are you guys done fucking around yet?" I was like, Yuji's "Come to the light, please." On the wall. So You're almost there. What's going on? Mahito, stop this! You're not Junpei, just, just just come that. over, please. <laughs> And the anime had the nerve to so put Junpei, Junpei in comes to his in the opening, hanging with the squad. And we're like, oh, Junpei's going to draw him. But no, he's not. Psych. He dead. Are fool. Turned him into a fusion of Pumba. Barney in a fucking crocodile. And yeah. This is sad, bro. I Look thought of Croconaut from Pokemon. Itadori, help me. I was a dumbass. You and were. Tragically, Junpei dies.
cheeks out. What the fuck is sick, bro? We're not even through chapter one. And this nigga is already halfway. Oh, oh, this nigga is sick. Bro, <laughs> take advantage of a bullied kid and mm -hmm. said, I'm going to use you as my little plaything. Yeah. So after this, bro. Mojito gets his ass whooped. And For real. So. He got a jump. Like, Fight back. Uh, Fight back. Bleeding. One of the best no 2v1 one jumping ever. Yes, sir. Fight back. That's funny. This glorious scene when they just start Mink. 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 Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. The panic. So he ends up trapping Nanami in here in this. Bro, Itadori is like the king of jumping. Because Itadori and Nanami jump Mahito. Itadori and Toto jump the plant. Cursed with a flower rose on. Patch face bum and bro knew he was cooked, so he had to turn into cell when he was about to blow up the earth and pop like a escape. And make his retreat. Bruh. And then just look at this musted, dusted, uh -huh. son of a bitch just sitting in these damn sewers. Like, yeah, that was fun. Niggas thought that little bum ass boy was gonna join the main cast. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, not the psych app. No, chapter two a bloody Halloween. Now, before we even get to the Halloween night, we have to observe the casualty before that night. And that is none other than Mechamaru. No, I'm not even going to. Oh, I the forgot about this. Like a G. I mean, he pulled out a whole fucking mech. Dude pulled up in the Ava. Yeah. Ass across the country. <laughs> Bro, that boot done, that was crazy. Came back for some more just to get hit with the left and sent flying. But sadly for Mechamaru, yeah. Mecha was cool. He had to get reminded. That he was just a side character. So mm -hmm. he turns up killing him. And what makes this sad? This man just got his body, body. Back from being crippled for his entire life. And he was about to not make body back. His actual self. Cause he was crippled. <laughs> and Mahito was the only one that so could fix that him. First incident, and there was a traitor at the school. And night, he was the traitor. But he again, the reason he did that so he could get his he, cause he knows he could get his full body time. back. So from my hito and he's like that looks absolutely he's like i'm only using you so i could get what i want so i could so betray you her, hey, uh, and be like good? no more traitor no more monsters. but it didn't quite work that way did they ever figure out that he was the mecha maru was the traitor did they ever figure that out i don't remember ends up realizing oh god but that fight was crazy i thought it was cool i mean mechas are dope i like power ranger megazords Super Sentai. Oh yeah, that thing is going fast. I'm kidding, it's not. All the curses are coming out. Oh, first one gone. Release the curses. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our first level tick. So he releases all these transfigured humans and chaos just ensues. And this is not just in the train station. Nigga, this is everywhere. All of Shibuya. Shibuya. This dog is thrown into a sign. Bro, her back is broken. And higher. Right here, getting they ass just tooted. Ate up. person that got transfigured right here, that brother must have been starving. There's bodies everywhere, dude. And who do all these kills belong to? Mahito. Your favorite dirty, musty, patch face son of a bitch. Diabolical bastard, I'll tell you that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, did they ever explain why he has patchwork? Almighty level 10. Any action committed from this point on will now count as a bonus stars. The more diabolical shit he does, the more stars he gets. And trust me, he gonna need them because later on we end up seeing mm. a crippled. No! Literally half his body is burnt off. And so while he's fighting for his life against like a million something transfigured humans, you can tell that he's on his last stand because it's showing shots of him on the beach. So he's done yeah. killing all of them, Mahito appears behind him and tells him, Ah, it's you. The one who survived the cheese stash. You mm -hmm. know, I'll never forget the day that you jumped me. And blows this nigga up 
Jesus Christ. Yeah. This sick fuck. I was so mad when I read this part. In front of Itadori! So now it's time for the final battle. The traumatized 15 year old versus the patch face bastard. So Itadori goes in for the swing. He gets rocked. Man mm -hmm. gets sent flying. And he's got a fat ass scar on his head now. And yeah. The figurine companies are going crazy right now. they like, oh, new character design just dropped. Uh huh. Pop, and look at him coming for the swing. For real? Hey, man made the cut even deeper. Gotta make sure that new character design sticks. So then this is where Mahito does some more sick shit. So Itadori asks him how you can play with innocent people's lives like this and he smiles at him. he don't care he turns his head into Junpei. and look at this trolling yeah you couldn't save your friend huh yeah you damn got, got stupid nigga this is <laughs> system, bro absolutely unhinged behavior right here in this whole fight he was just being diabolical he Mom was turned his arm into a cannon thinking he's samus started spamming the shit out of gear third and then they gear three yeah and he tried to piss the nigga hey yo, hey, yo. Like, dog, that's is that regal back the fuck up but no, that's not, not regal. What he does right here is horrible. Itadori ends up finding these two dudes, and they like, hey, man, you better get over here. There's monsters everywhere. So Itadori's like, listen, guys, you got to get out of here. And he gets punched in the Yeah. Mouth. Hell no. He was hiding in this man's body. This is disgusting. That was Warhammer. Like, he a onesie. And makes him a sword. No. <laughs> No, 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 bro. I do not care what anybody says. This is the worst death of this entire series. I have to know what's going on inside yeah. this man's head right now. Like, why did you have to do this? This man must have watched that one Isekai reincarnated as a sword. That's a sword. Said, hmm, let me see if I could do that. Yeah. He still wasn't the killing the innocents. Look no. The blood said, Human Bob. And bro just gets sex fly. This nigga is mm. sick. It's like at this point, this man's entire arsenal is just using innocent human mm, beings. True, so that's disgusting. Explode the flashbang, bro. So Mahito's about to kill him. But bro ends up getting blasted from the inside out. Because apparently, dude had a double the whole time that was fighting Nobara. And she hit that boy with the band hammer. So while he's basically stunned, into doing. Oh, I forgot bro. about that part. Yeah. Mink, 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 against the wall. Mink, mink. Damn. Roundhouse! Kick, kick! Look at him hit the finisher. Falcon punch! Juggled on the wall and yeah. the nastiest Tekken. combo of the decade. He was like, Tekken style. Hell no, I cannot go out like this. But this man turned into some despicable me minions. <laughs> to make his greatest escape. Bob Stewart, Just Kevin. To do some more horrendous shit. So he ends up running into his, his double. double. And guess who was chasing behind that other no double? Nobody. Swap. Yeah, so y'all probably know where this is going. Bro rubs his nasty ass hands on Nobara's face and gives her the cheese touch. And you knew it was over for her because they did a whole 20 minute backstory. <laughs> like, bro, mm -hmm. that's how you know she was cupped. Uh, yeah. Man, man. Shit went cool. Man, yeah. I don't want to talk about this shit no more, bro. It's damn shitty. He killed two of the most man. popular characters. So look, now I'm at the point that I'm just saying shit. Like this man has put Itadori through like years of pain in the amount of 10 minutes. Like he's literally putting everybody that he knows in a pack. And look mm -hmm. at this fucking nigga. And he it's witnessed flat, flat, all flat, three of those. Yeah. Beating his ass and telling them, what the mm. fuck do you think this is? Wall throw. Oh, what? You thought this was going to be some Team 7 Naruto True. Oh, nigga. And then he just beat this man over mm, over dragging over him. Mm, that frontal kick. Joy was cooked. But when all hope seemed lost and you in a dark place, so there cool is now. one person that could save you. Toto! Brother. So big bro Toto pulled up. It said, yes, sir. Need you to back up, little bro. Yeah. Brother. So then he told Itadori, jump time. Yeah, bro. This that's this is me and my boy Rakage right now. I mean, Tadori and my boy Rakage is Toto. Is trying to have a sentimental moment. So yeah. All in big booty loving tag team champions. Yeah. Let's go. Undisputed they champions. No they started this nigga. Jumping. To the point where Mahito got desperate and had to do some more hellacious shit. And what do I mean by that? Turning two more people into swords, dog. 
did it again. At this point, bro, this man is a walking definition of diabolical. Like, he's just doing shit just because. Yeah. So they had to get his mm, Damn, team. to the uh, elevator? This man with this plus ultra looking ass black. Boogie fly. woogie. His mustache uh, let's get it. Flying. You could probably smell his muscle while Shibuya. So Mahito said, out of hell with this. And pukes out a shitload of doodoo turds to send them all the way up to the surface. And then Ichidori came in for the fucking pig. Just to get yeah, drop drop kick. thrown into the crater. And then this nasty ass boy decided to risk it all. So he tries to do a 0 0.2 second domain expansion and got some hands coming out his mouth and shit with his hot ass breath. And before yeah. he activated, he needed permission from Sukuna. He was like, hey, hey man, I just want to make sure I'm not touching you, big bro. And gives Toto's hand every single disease that yeah. he has. Yeah. So he had to chop that shit off. He was like, nah, nigga, mm -hmm. I'm STD free. So then Mahito's gut checks him with a black flash. But Toto ate it with the power of his parasocial yeah. relationship with Tiger yeah. Like, shit, I guess this is an inside look of Persona. a tier three Twitch sub. Mo thought to himself, if I beat this nigga ass, she gonna let me hit. Then he yeah. And he his dirty ass like 30 yards. So now Mahito was on his last legs. So I, I was, was so sad when Toad had to chop his arm off, too. Into a Frieza looking ass transformation. <laughs> Bro said, come at Th that's me. That's not Frieza, bro. This is like Final Fantasy right here. He just made out of steel, Luke Cage ass nigga. And he picks him up. And and Don't he start dragging him. Itadori. Look, his mouth even slid open. So they both yeah. go for a final swing. But Mahito's body ends up fucking up. And it was finally over for this sick fuck. Toto makes Itadori swap places and blesses the bone. Mm -hmm. And look at this pathetic son of a bitch. Bro tried to puke out some more turds and ended up realizing there's no, no more. No, no, I'm out of ammo. And then Ichidori just stands over and tells him, You are a worthless, bitch ass nigga. Mm -hmm. Your life literally is as bad yep. as Yep, I was gonna say, man. like, Ichidori also you gets another no scar on his lip. You should kill yourself now. Well, not on the lip, like, like on the side of his mouth. And Look at him. Runs into ghetto. Running he runs into out of options. Well, well, well. Betrays him. And now Ghetto's the real problem. And the dusk ball. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this motherfucker will be locked in this bitch for eternity with a whopping level 10 with over eight stars. This bastard mm -hmm. does not need to ever see the light Understandable. Of ever again. So get comfortable, you dirty, diabolical son of a bitch. Because you will spend <laughs> eternity in the deepest, darkest pits in the asylum. What you floor is he in, though? What floor is he in, though? That's the question. Anyways, fantastic video by CJ, obviously. What is the next video gonna drop? Okay, I'm kidding. Probably next month or so. I don't know. Uh, the link to the original video down in the description below. Go watch it so you like yourself. Support CJ the champ. And support me by liking and subscribing to me. Happy New Year, people. Let's hope this is do a good 2024. See you on the next reaction. Bye-bye.